Okay, guys, so the whole Fox, Sky, Disney, Comcast thing that's recently just kind of hit us, um, there's a lot of stuff happening here. And I know some of you guys, you don't follow what's been happening, you know, with these things. You don't follow any of the stocks or shareholders or look at the numbers or anything. And that's fine. You don't have to. I'm here to deliver you the, you know, the breakdown in the news in a very simple, explanatory way. So let me try to explain to you what exactly is going on in the most layman's terms i can fox for the last year plus has been over in the uk and europe trying to acquire the sky network which is huge the sky network itself has so many things and so much reach that it hits close to 23 million customers now of course when you look at this this is pretty insane they you know deal with the um soccer leagues there they deal with various aspects tv shows th things that air all across europe sky deals with that and this is pretty major so that bid was going seamlessly to fox you know we thought they were going to get it and that was that when disney made the movement to acquire you know to buy all of fox they had their mind set on the fact, oh, okay, yeah, we're making this bid, but it's all good because Sky is a part of it. Now, Bob Iger, the moment it was announced that they were acquiring Fox, said that the Sky Network was the crown jewel of assets in this entire acquisition. This is what they were after, because Sky Network would give Disney and everything they do in the United States full entry into Europe without having to build their own infrastructure so it's all there for them and that's why they wanted it comcast suddenly stepping in and wanting to acquire fox takes away 23 million new customers away from this deal meaning that that giant bid that disney put in for fox if comcast now gets sky is useless because fox's value has now sunk and that's the problem. This is why it's going to be up to Disney and Fox to sit down and start hashing out details. Can they up the bid? Because if they do, they can keep everything moving forward. But this is the thing. If they do that, Fox's value then goes up. Because Disney is going to have to spend a little more money to be able to keep up with what's happening. So automatically Fox's acquisition and their shareholders are going to go up because of this whole thing. So now it's just a big war of numbers and money between a bunch of corporate studios. Hopefully this made it simple for you guys.